Kuwaiti delegation led by Vice Premier Hu Junhua. Besides discussing significant state contracts and agreements, both countries are now working on expanding collaboration between small and medium-sized enterprises. Thousands from dozens of other countries are also taking part in the event. 俄罗斯的现在的很多的这个科技型企业，中国的这些投资机构会非常的感兴趣。然后俄罗斯的企业呢，对中国的这个市场还有投资呢，也非常的感兴趣。在现在这个情况下呢，其实更需要的是一个桥梁和一个通道，去帮助中国和俄罗斯的企业之间可以相互的交流和落地和发展。Big businesses will continue to lead the way. One of those companies is Russian Helicopters, which is actively working with the Chinese AVIC on the development of the advanced heavy lifter helicopter. All technical negotiations are finished. There are just a few commercial points that need to be addressed. I hope that by the end of this year, we will resolve these with our Chinese partners. From this point of view, this project is in an advanced planning stage. The 2019 Eastern Economic Forum is hosting many high-profile guests from different countries. One of the 2019 edition of the Eastern Economic Forum will run through Friday. On Thursday, all eyes will be on the plenary session, where Putin, Modi, and Abe will address the attendees. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Vladivostok. Headlines of this year's forum in Vladivostok.